Hey folks, welcome back. We're at Groton for the season finale 2021. This is a race that is not part of the series. It's just kind of a season wrap up, thank you, party, bragging rights kind of race. And instead of the normal hour and 20, hour and 30 minute race, Brian shortened it to about 45 minutes. And again, that was to give us some time to uh, socialize after the event and uh, get some, some swag from all the sponsors that helped out the race series this year. So uh, pretty excited to be here, coming off a good race at the DCC. Um, held them up pretty well, uh, got some scabs and some pain, but uh, nothing that's affecting race performance. Um, but I did do a big effort on Sunday and kind of overdid it, so my legs are feeling a little bit tired. The way this race is kind of playing out is uh, earlier on, Andy, myself, and Chris got off the road and we were working well together. But, um, you know, these guys were fit and uh, we ended up getting pulled back. So, a few other moves went up the road a bit later. Um, everything ended up. Spoiler alert, gets pulled back, and we're setting up here with a um, build sprint finish. Things are kind of calm this second to last lap, and mostly that's because I think folks have resided that, yeah, we're going to have a field sprint finish, so get your train in order, get yourself organized, get your breath, it's going to be fast. That drag up the hill to the finish is... As you know, super long, it's tough, and you gotta have good legs for it. In terms of who's here tonight, which is great, everyone showed up, uh, except for Luke, actually, uh, the series champion. So Luke um, decided that he was gonna get some rest as he's gearing up for state championships this weekend at debates, and um, I'm the sole Wolverine presenting things out here on the west side this week. Also, as a reminder, I've never won Groton, and I've tried plenty of times these last couple of years. So, um, you know, the other person we've got coming in that uh, has never done a Groton, actually, was Chris Uberti. So I spoke to Chris a couple, one or two days before the race, and um, ended up patching together a bike for this event, as you know, he crashed out in a gravel race a couple weeks back, had some road rash, messed up his bike pretty good. So he's on a backup bike. I'm on a backup bike. Uh, my backup bike is a thousand times better than his. His is a real, um, I don't know. I was embarrassed for him, I'll be honest. But hey, when you're as fast as he is, um, you can ride pretty much anything and you still win races. So, um, we're rolling through this thing here, back to the race. We're going to be coming up on one lap to go up here. Um, the other thing tonight that they had, interestingly enough, was a lot of cool preems and um, some, some stuff that people really wanted to get their hands on. So, it was a bit spicy earlier on, but there were a couple of guys I noted that hadn't seen all race super fast that were definitely hanging out thinking that they were going to, um, you know, put one big effort in for a final sprint finish. Um, looking back at the video, I see Keegan on my wheel, um, like more than anybody else, and I never actually saw him during the entire race. So um, he's definitely playing for the overall tonight, and I think we're going to see how that plays out here for him here. As we cross the line for one to go, you can see things are starting to swell up a little bit. And this is when Eclipse decides they're gonna go to the front and take control. There's a guy, if I recall correctly, he's likely up the road a little bit. They're gonna work with one of their guys to pull this thing back one last time. So I like my positioning here. I'm gonna be up here and grab it on. Chris's wheel, things are going to start going fast, it's going to get strung out. Fairly uneventful here for 
this uh, this stretch. So I'm just gonna let the video run and you can take a look for yourself. I do like this rear view though. If you look back up over that hill, people are strung out the entire backside of this whole race course and that means we're cooking. Hard to tell but I think this is the point when we're just about ready to pull back uh, the one guy who was solo off the front and by doing that I think that burns one Eclipse rider up and that's Nate, if I'm not mistaken, who's now in the front, and uh, he's going to go to work quickly here. So now we're smoking. If you look in the rear view, you can see we're starting to open up some gaps on people. And uh, it's, it's the great thing about this is that, you know, it's unlikely you're going to get swarmed when you're rolling down through here at, you know, 35 miles an hour. this right hand sweeper and I've got my head on the swivel waiting to see if anyone's gonna try to start a second train or come up over the top of us as we approach this hill. Nate's still digging pretty hard um, and Chris is stuck on there like glue. The second train is starting to form in the back there. The pace is still hot and I'm kind of hoping that Nate takes us all the way to you know, 200 ideally at this speed. Uh, but you're gonna see what kind of happens up here. He ends up pulling off, leaving Chris on the front. Chris, being a smart racer, doesn't want that, so he sits up, and the second train comes flying by. We work ourselves into that train, and now we're moving pretty good. Ralph's on the front. Definitely wish it was a tad faster, as it'll stop people from coming up from the back. Right here is when the leadout guy jumps. Chris goes left, I go right, go around the leadout guy, and we are a long way from the finish. So we're digging, 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 and I'm seeing to my right that Dan Korniak is coming up fast, and he's pulling Keegan with him. They go one, two across the line. They're super pumped. I get third. I'm bummed about that, but super excited for Dan and Keegan. Family one two punch. See y'all at Groton next year. And thanks to the Obermeyer family for putting this great race series on for us.